Today I'm going to talk about how to uh, modify uh, F fast LED routines for uh, better performance. And one of the key things we need to be aware of is when you're adding things like inputs, such as button inputs or other types of inputs to your fast LED routine, you need for the loop to be as fast as possible. So I'll be going through some of the uh, things that to help improve the performance of your uh, fast LED display routine. For instance, you need to make sure that the data types that you define are as tight as possible. No point in using a, a floating uh, a variable if a 16-bit variable will do. As far as I'm concerned, loops are pretty well the bane of uh, high-speed uh, uh, displays. So let's see how we can remove as many loops as we can out of the, uh, out of the uh, uh, routines. Also, delays, blocking delays. Uh, uh, really slow down your performance, so we'll see how we can get rid of some of those. We'll talk a little bit about uh, counters and a way to uh, uh, use alternates to regular counters. All I'll be using is high school math and some of the built-in LED functions to uh, display the um, uh, various routines. Uh, for today's example, we'll be using the uh, Cylon LED. Here's a template file that I'll be using to um, uh, display our, uh, our various routines with. And what we're doing at the top here is we're defining fast LED with 20 LEDs and a data pin of uh, on pin 12. We don't have a clock pin because down below here we are using uh, NeoPixels or WS2812 uh, LEDs and they only have one data pin. We're defining our array here. And then this section down here is just uh, uh, used for uh, uh, showing our frames per second. So that's all that's really used for. Here's our uh, loop up here. And our minimal template loop is just show the frames per second and then uh, showing fast LED. And then here's the uh, frames per second uh, um, uh, routine down below here. So let's uh, compile this uh, routine. And I have my... Uh, trusty Arduino Uno right beside me. We're going to compile this and find out what the absolute fastest frames per second that we can get out of this routine is. And we'll see what we have on our serial monitor. So the fastest we can get here is 400 frames per second. So that's that's our goal and you know we may we may be somewhat below that but uh, we, we hope to get pretty close. Okay, so next I'll be starting out with our very first uh, Cylon routine. And when I first started out um, uh, playing with Arduinos, I counted the pixels up and then I counted the pixels back. So this is a fairly standard, um, this is a fairly standard routine for most people. So, you count the number of LEDs in your in your uh, array. You set the first LED. You show it. You, you set it black. You don't show it yet. You delay for 100 milliseconds and then keep on repeating until you've counted all the way up. And then you reverse that counting all the way down. So that's a fairly real basic uh, routine for that. So let's see how that works out. So again, we'll compile that. And let's have a look at our frames per second. So now the LEDs are going back and forth. And we're going to see what the uh, serial monitor says about our frames per second. With all the delay loops down here, we're going to get a pretty poor performance out of this. So we get about one frame per second out of, the, uh, out of this routine. And the problem that we're going to have here is that it is not going to be very responsive at all to any um, input. So if I've got a button to press to change the routine, it will be a very unreliable uh, response. So I'll get out of that. So I can obviously put, you know, button routine in, in between these things, 
but I'm still going to have a delay of 100 milliseconds no matter what. So the best I'm going to get for button response is every 100 milliseconds, which is in on the order of 10 frames a second, which is still not very good. What we're going to be doing is using a sine wave to replicate the functionality that we're getting with our uh, with our Cylon. So as you can see, a sine wave goes up and down and similar to the Cylon. So let's say if we start at the beginning, this could be LED zero. It counts all the way up and then back down. So what you get is an incrementing counter down here, run it through a sine function and the resultant value will, will be going from zero to uh, or the the lowest value that that um, routine puts out to the highest value. And in the case of um, fast LED, they've got a sine eight and a sine 16 function. So the sine eight function goes from zero to 255, whereas the sine 16 function is, uh, is signed and it goes from minus 32768 up to 32767. So it's a good idea to make sure that you understand the minimum and maximum ranges of the functions that you're using and to make sure you use one that's appropriate to the type of function that you want to use. For instance, if you've only got 20 LEDs, an 8-bit sign function may be all you need, depending on your timing. We're going to be using a, um, a, uh, a fast LED a uh, high-speed sign function called sign8 and feel free to look up uh, the fast LED documentation go through the code because there's a whole bunch of math routines of high-speed math routines available that can help uh, speed up your uh, your LED uh, displays and in this case uh, sign8 will provide a value between 0 and 255 based on the inputs so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be mapping the output from the sign 8 from its 0 to 255 limits to 0 to the number of LEDs that we've got. Then again, we're going to be taking our LEDs of I of that value and, and then updating that particular LED, showing it. And we still have a uh, delay, but it's uh, it, this will look a lot better. So let's uh, compile that. And we will now have a look at the serial monitor. So we've gone from about one frame per second to 93 frames per second. So we are in far, far better shape than we were before. And, you know, this this is would be an acceptable uh, button input uh, um, frame per second. So we're in not too bad shape here. So, you know, I, We've gotten rid of uh, the four loops, so we're just setting a single uh, a single LED. But um, I think we can still do better and get rid of that uh, delay blocking delay altogether. Okay. Yeah. So this particular version, instead of using a counter to count one, two, three, four, and then having our delay, we're going to be using the the millis counter and then using a 16-bit sign. So it's going to be a much bigger, bigger, much larger uh, sign uh, value output, and this should slow down the display while giving us the ability to remove the uh, the delay value. So in this case, the sign 16 value returns a 16-bit value uh, signed value from minus 32768 up to 32767. So again, we'll map that the output of that. Uh, to zero and num underscore LEDs. And we notice here that this 16, well, that's a fudge factor to to either speed up or slow down how fast the uh, the display is going across the, uh, the, the pixel is going across the, uh, the display. So let's compile this and see how that goes. But, you know, we're now starting to look like we've got some pretty tight code here. And let's have a look at our performance. 
our performance is now as fast as we can get. So we've gone from one frame per second to the maximum at 400 frames per second just by using some basic math and, and the uh, one or two uh, fast LED functions. But there's a couple more things that we can do to make things look even cooler here. So let's continue on with uh, what we've got. In this particular case, um, Fast LED has a, a really cool function called beat sign eight. So by providing you the number of beats per second and the range and even phase values, you can provide all the information that you did or all the functionality that you did with the sign without having to go through all that. And again, let's uh, compile that. And this makes it easy to ha allow you to have one, two, maybe three pixels going back and forth, which makes for a pretty cool effect. Again, 400 frames a second, really high speed math. And finally, uh, one last example, let's add a little bit of a, another uh, fast LED function Instead of just replacing the LED with black, we're going to use a fast LED fade to black by function. And what that will do is that will reduce the uh, brightness of the entire array just a, just a bit. And this will allow you to see a nice uh, trailing star function. So again, compile that. Obviously, it's going to be showing at uh, another 400 frames per second. And uh, let's... Uh, have a look at that. Note to self, uh, don't forget to turn off the email before you uh, start doing some recordings. Anyways, what we've seen is the uh, performance of our uh, display has increased really significantly just by adding some basic high school math and a few nicely selected uh, routines. You could use fast LED sign routines or even or even built-in Arduino sign routines to significantly increase the performance of your uh, of your display. In this case, we can use all sorts of different variables to uh, to adjust these uh, these values on the fly. We could change the hue on the fly. We could uh, change our um, our fade to black by. All sorts of people have have done some amazing things just by using a few variables to change these this various functionality. I hope that uh, this little uh, display has uh, has helped you see how you can improve the performance of your of your uh, uh, animations by removing uh, blocking delays, by reducing the number of loops that you're using so that you can add additional functionality such as the uh, such as the input. Best of luck with your uh, fast LED displays.